Hello everyone, I'm Felipe Gonzalez. This edition of Your News Micro begins right now. Firefighters work to stop the J fire from spreading any further. The company Johnson & Johnson has paused their phase three trial of the COVID-19 vaccine due to a study participant experiencing an unexplained illness. The patient is being reviewed and evaluated by their internal clinical and safety physicians and information will be sent to the Data Safety Monitoring Board. Matai Mammon, head of the global research and development at Johnson & Johnson's pharmaceutical division, states the company does not know if the patient received the vaccine or a placebo. The company says it is not uncommon for clinical studies to undergo a temporary pause. Mammon says the company is still learning and developing more information about the illness, and it will take a few days minimum to gather and evaluate details regarding the case. If you have been waiting to upgrade your iPhone, now is the time. The new iPhone will be ready for pre-order starting October 16th and in stores November 13th. The phone features a new magnet that will make charging quicker and more convenient, shadow protection that is four times stronger than before, along with an improved camera with night mode, great for nighttime photography. The iPhone will feature 5G, making it faster and easier to consume content. As a downside, the phone will not come with headphones or a power adapter. Phones will be starting at $699. In other news, a member of College of the Canyons has been diagnosed with COVID-19. According to an official school statement, the individual attended a Tasley Hall welding class on October 7th. This welding class is one of the few courses offered this fall that had a limited number of in-person classes available. School officials have conducted contact tracing and notified the people who were in Tasley Hall that day. Those individuals have been asked to self-quarantine and not come to campus for 14 days. COC has stated the areas the member was in have been sanitized as part of COC's regular cleaning regimen. The individual has not been identified as to respect the privacy of them and their family. This week, the Los Angeles County Fire Department hired two of its newest members. Meet Echo and Milo, the two specially trained Labrador Retrievers, are members of the department's peer support program, which provides firefighters who are victims of post-traumatic stress disorder and other behavioral health conditions with comfort during stressful situations. Echo, the Golden Retriever, has already responded to both the Wolseley Fire and Bobcat Fires. The dogs were donated by both the Thor's Hope and the Patriotic Service Dog Foundations and will be available to the firefighters here in the Santa Clarita Valley and throughout the region. If you haven't heard, it's the Great Southern California Shakeout Week. This week has been designed to help us prepare for an unexpected disaster such as an earthquake. It is important to have a personal emergency car kit in case you are stuck in traffic or on the freeway. You may be there for a while, so here are a few suggested items for a car kit. A change of clothes, a cell phone charger, food, drinking water, blankets, and toilet tissue. Emergency preparedness is important to think about when living in an area such as Santa Clarita Valley. If needed, there are many resources that can be found online to be better prepared in case of an emergency. And that's it for this edition of News Micro. For Kenya's News, I'm Felipe Gonzalez.